Hi everyone, I'm Shauna and welcome to my channel. Today is time for my November Project Pan update. We're getting down there. It's an exciting update. And when I say that, I want you to pause this video and guess what I finished. Cause I'm really happy about it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I do know that there's a lot of you who are finding my Project Pam videos. My last video got like 1200 views and it's the most viewed video on my channel. Thank you for watching, for coming by and and ultimately watching my video. I would love it if you would subscribe to get more Project Panning content. I currently have three Project Pans on my channel and that's not going anywhere for 2021. So I would love it if you would, if you would sub subscribe or give this video a like or a comment if you enjoyed the content that you're watching today. I also just finished a meeting with one of my supervisors for one of my fields and I crushed it and nothing feels better than crushing it. Um, so I'm like riding a little bit of a high right now. So perfect way to start this video. Let's talk about the update. Let's start talking about the products. The first uh, product, the primer they have in this project is the First Day Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. Here's where we're at now. That is a really significant jump from last month to this month and that's pretty big. I did track my, my makeup wares this month and I also created a tally on Instagram on how many days I wore makeup. But there were some days that I didn't, I think count on that official tally where I wore the BB cream and like a powder and that was it and brows or something like that. So I wore this 11 times and I think that is a pretty big jump for 11 times. And you can tell that I wore just a little bit more makeup than last month. And I'm really happy with this progress. The next six weeks, um, I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of makeup. I actually think it's only going to be once a week when I have my now new Friday meetings with one of my supervisors. I think that some of the idealism I had about using these next two months to kind of like push things out, I don't think it's going to be realistic anymore. So while I knew I probably wouldn't finish this this year, it's a definite, um, <laughs> let's just kind of see how far we can get on this. Let's talk about this. This has been like the talk of the discussion of like, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish it since February. I finished it. I finished it. It's done. I think you can see just here that like I've scraped the sides. Like it's, it's all done. I'm very excited about this. I don't like this foundation. It's too dewy. Um, so this is a pass for me. And I'm so happy to get this out because I've been working on this since February and I've been convinced since like March that I'm gonna finish it any week now. And it's, you know, end of October and I finally finished it. This is like one of the proudest Project Pan moments I've had this year. So I'm incredibly excited to have this out. In this place, I am gonna roll something in and I don't know why I took the cap off. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. And you can see that there is just like the smallest amount here. And I think that this amount of foundation could be finished by the end of the year. And because I still wanna work on my Tarte Foundation, this color is now too dark for me. So this could be a good mixer for this foundation to, um, so I can keep it in to use it up. So this is the new roll-in. And as I've kind of shown you here, this is the Tarte. I have made pretty good progress here and it's about the same as the month before. And I think that the month before I was using this a little bit more than this and I was kind of pushing this a little bit more. It might even be a little bit less. There is just, a, there is still quite a bit of air in here. I don't know if I'll finish it. Even if there was, let's say this much left, I don't know if I could finish it because of uh, probably reducing the amount of makeup I wear, but it's at least continual steady progress. Next up is the e.l.f. BB cream. Um, so I wore 
the Physician's Formula Foundation 11 times. And then I wore the Amazonian Foundation 10 times. So the BB cream I wore five times and I don't think we'll see any kind of mark on here anytime soon. Five times is enough to move it, but it's, we got an air bubble. It's, it's not moving. Um, this has way more coverage than I feel like I understood. And it's a pretty significantly coverage product for a BB cream, at least in my opinion. So this is going to stay in and I'm going to use this as much as I can until the end of the year. Okay. The Wet n Wild concealer. I think I've also been kind of talking about this, like we're getting down there, we're getting down there. I really do think we're getting down there. Nothing's really coming out anymore. Um, I think that this will last until the end of the year. Um, but I really do think that we're close on this. It's a scrape the side kind of product. I can see light peeking through. So I'm hoping that I'm, I'm hoping, I guess more than predicting that this will be out by December. Fingers crossed. The next product is the ColourPop bronzer and I'm making pretty consistent progress with this as well. I think this one too is just like another up in the air product like maybe I'll finish it by the end of the year maybe I won't I don't know especially with less makeup so I am gonna hope that I can finish this up and I might actually end up repressing it in the coming weeks because it's now getting harder to use especially up here so <laughs> you'll see that if it does end up happening but I do have hope that I can finish it for December the last kind of well, I've two face powders left and one of them is this Milani press powder. I truly thought I would finish it this month. Um, I had been using this a lot. I used the Colourpop bronzer 10 times and I used the Milani powder 14 times. So this was this is actually not my favorite powder. What I've found is that it mattifies good at first, but it doesn't hold that mattification all day long. And I get way more oily with this or more oily more quickly than when I use my NYX powder. So I suspect that I will finish this before the end of the month. And if I do, um, I will just take a picture of the new product when it comes in. So then you can see where I am when we have that update because I feel pretty confident that this will be finished sometime in November. And I think pretty early on in November, I think it's just like a handful of uses, like maybe three to five uses in here. I'm not going to wait until that update to bring in that new product. I'm just going to roll it in as it, as I finish it and then show you kind of where that progress is at that time. Um, as I've said, I don't like, I don't feel like this holds that, that mattifying power that I want. And the color is too dark, so it's great to uh, roll this out soon, hopefully. The next product is the blush. No real change on this. I think it's after that repressing I don't think it's going to go anywhere in 2020. Way more product than I ever suspected was in here. That's, I guess, what you get when you put in a blush. It's just so much, so much product. All right, on to the lip products. The Marc Jacobs lip gloss. I don't know. I think that there's a possibility to finish this by the end of the year. Um, there is a lot of product in here, but I am like when I, I don't know, like I'm just kind of scraping the sides a bit. There is a lot of product on here when I scrape the sides and it's not as though like I'm artificially scraping the sides when there's also product in the middle. There's not a lot of product in the middle either. So I think that it's possible to use this up by the end of the year. 
my gut feeling is that I'm going to finish it more like January or February. Like if it were, like if this project was just as long as I wanted it to be, that's kind of what I'm feeling the trajectory is like on this, but I can hold out hope, right? So I used that 12 times and I used my blush 10 times. The next product is the lip liner. I used this five times. I have the little kind of card here. Uh, this is not gonna be finished by the end of the year. I don't use lip liner every time I wear makeup, so it's a more slower product. And I don't know if I would roll this in next year. Some of these products that if I were to finish them, I wouldn't roll them in, others I would. Because I've been thinking more about a 2021 project and they do have some specific products in mind other than ones you've shown, that I've shown here. But this is one I'm kind of thinking that it would be nice to finish a lip liner and I do like this color and it kind of works all year round. So this is something I'm thinking about for next year. The next product is the Bite Beauty uh, Lipstick in Sugar Cane. This I used seven times so you can see it more clearly, but there is a, like, it's a steady kind of use, as you can see on the bottom there. I, again, I don't know if I'll finish this by the end of the year, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that next year. There's a lot of cusp products now that we're so close, and the fact that I'm using uh, makeup less. The next item is this <laughs> e.l.f. Uh, lip gloss. Now, last month I was here, like you can see exactly where that fold is, and now I'm here. I thought at that other update that I would be able to finish it this month. There's just a little bit left here. I'm pretty convinced I can finish it for next month, and I did wear this every single day in October at least once, sometimes multiple times a day, um, and I do find it like moisturizing and hydrating. I do like this formula. And what I've, what I've noticed about this is that if I just apply this and nothing else, it's actually not as moisturizing as I thought it would be. In my head, I always assumed that Bite lipsticks were moisturizing. And I kind of feel like my lips are dry underneath this. Like they feel dry and like I want to constantly reapply even when there's a lot of lipstick still on. Now is kind of like those last couple of skincare bits. One of the things was the Peter Thomas Roth eye gels. I used these four times, so I'm kind of still on my way. This is what's left. We are getting to the bottom. Like you can clearly see the bottom. I haven't been masking as much. Um, other, like the other months, I was masking, let's say, six to eight times a month and then kind of forgetting to pull these out because they were in a bit of a different space. But this month, um, I only masked four times and I feel like that's gonna be the trajectory for the next couple of months. But it's still possible with my rate of use to finish this by December, so I'm still gonna hold out for that. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Tatcha Violet C Radiant Mask. This is another guy that's finished. This was like a $90 mask and I'm so happy that this is out. I think I've kind of killed it with face masks this year and there's no other mask that I want to finish. There's one other mask in a different project, on my mini sample project pan. That's the only other mask I feel like I could finish this year and I don't want to roll in a mask this year only to not be able to finish it. So nothing else is going to be rolled into its place. This is just going to be rolled out. The next thing I want to talk about is the Quo Little Brush Cleaner. Um, I have done my makeup a fair amount this month. I have had more meetings and like more outings and, you know, wanting to get dulled up a bit. And so I haven't washed my brushes this month. So there was a lot of like squirt, 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 squirt from this. And I don't know if I could use it up by the end of the year, but at least I've made some great progress on an incredibly old and nasty product. The last thing to update you on is my Tamanu oil. We are about here making good progress from here. Another 
feel like a broken record. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year. But again, steady progress. So I wore the Tatcha mask. It was actually only like three times to finish this up. The face oil, I did lose count. <laughs> I lost count at eight times, but I know that it's more than that. Overall, like <laughs> that's the update. The last thing was it to my new oil. It's going okay. There's no rush on it. We'll kind of see what happens with that. But as a kind of, I, I've liked kind of summarizing and thinking about my products at the end. I rolled out two products. I finished two products and I rolled in one, which is that new foundation. And I think for next month, I can finish two products, the Milani powder and the e.l.f. jelly pop. And thinking more long-term, I think, or I guess I hope I can finish an additional three products being the ColourPop bronzer, the eye gels, and then the Tarte mask. That's kind of what I feel like is possible for December, like at the very end. The gloss, really not sure it could go either way. And that's that, that's the update. I'm very proud of this update. One really expensive thing out and one long-term uh, item out. So that's a really big win in my book. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.